Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Film Simplified and LearnColorGrading.com. So, welcome to a new episode. Uh, I'm sure that you're familiar that Blackmagic Design bought Fusion and they made it available for free. Now, what is Fusion? Fusion is simply one of the most advanced uh, compositing environments in the world. Uh, Blackmagic bought it and they made it available for free and they even did something more impressive where they linked it to Resolve now. So you can actually create your uh, compositions from within Resolve without you having to render anything, import anything or do anything. So basically this is just like uh, the Premiere and After Effects uh, thing that is going on between, you know, there's something going on between After Effects and uh, Premiere. Now the important thing here is that Fusion is a bit different than After Effects. It's not based on layers. You don't have a layer-based system in Fusion. Fusion is entirely based on nodes, which is very powerful. And today we're going to be taking a look at a demonstration where we create a 3D effect inside DaVinci Resolve through Fusion. Before we start, I'm just happy to announce that we just released our Fusion Simplified course on filmsimplified.com. And just like all of our courses, it's designed for the absolute beginner. So let's create 3D text. So let's take a look. Now this is DaVinci Resolve and this is my clip here. I just want to turn this clip into a Fusion composition without me having to deal with Fusion at all. I don't even have to go and create a Fusion project. So what I'm going to be doing right now is right click on my footage here and go to New Fusion Connect Clip. I'm going to click this and now I have this dialog. First we have name. So it's asking us what is the name of the Fusion project that we're going to be creating, what's the format and what's the codec. For a codec I would go usually with Apple ProRes 422. If you're on a PC you can try DNX HD. Then you have uh, the format, QuickTime and the name. And then I have this button here. Usually it's not ticked by default. It's uh, Open Fusion Connect Clip. I'm going to click it. As soon as Resolve creates the clip uh, it's going to open Fusion and show me this clip. So I'm going to click open here and now Resolve is rendering this particular file into the format that uh, was chosen in the previous argument and now once it's done it will automatically open Fusion and show me my clip. Of course you must have Fusion uh, downloaded already on your device. Fusion is free. You can just go to Black Magic Design, look for Fusion and download it. It's absolutely free. So now I have two nodes here. This is a node and this is another node. Now the node on the right is the one responsible for connecting this project to my DaVinci Resolve project. So usually I don't want to mess with the one on the right here. So whatever reaches this particular node will always be available for you in DaVinci Resolve. And now here I have my composition. Now you have to understand one thing. Take a look at these uh, points down here. The point on the left is white, which means that now I'm viewing this particular piece of footage on the left. And for the clip on the right, I have the right dot white, which means that this is being viewed on the right monitor here. Now, not to get ahead of ourselves, I'm going to now create a 3D text. I'm going to come to my library here and go to 3D. And when I scroll down, I have text 3D. I'm going to grab it here. So this is my new node. Now to view my text 3D in either of my monitors, I simply have to grab it to this monitor. So now I just grabbed it to the right here. So the monitor on the right is actually viewing this particular node. Let's take it here. Now, when I select this node, these are the properties for this particular node. I'm going to type my text here. So I'm just going to come here and type 3D text. Now to move this around, I simply have to click the uh, middle mouse button with Alt and I can rotate around my 3D text. Notice that it doesn't look 3D exactly now because we have to apply extrusion to it. So I'm just simply going to come to this drop down menu here and I'm going to apply text extrusion and to see it in a better way you can see this is 3D now I'm going to hit shading here and this is my 3D text. Now Fusion is entirely dependent on nodes there is no layer based compositing system inside it's purely nodes which makes it extremely powerful. Now I need to connect this node and this node to show them together on one monitor before sending them to my Fusion uh, clip. Think of this final node here Fusion clip as uh, our DaVinci Resolve project. So I'm simply going to need to merge these two nodes but there's a problem here the node on top is actually a 3d node and the 
node here is actually a 2D node. So we need to convert one of them into the other. So it's either I convert this to 2D or this to 3D. So I'm going to convert this node from 3D to 2D. There is a very easy way to access all of your effects. I'm going to hit shift and space and I have all my effects, I can uh, search for anything here. So I'm just going to look for render 3D. I'm going to hit OK, and this is my render 3D. Now, the render 3D node does one thing. It takes your 3D object and it turns it into an object that can be merged with 2D objects. So let's take a look. I'm simply going to connect my text 3D to the render 3D, and I'm gonna now grab the render 3D to the view on the right here, and you can see this is our text now. So now I can merge my text as a 2D uh, element with my 2D uh, footage here to the left. So it's going to be very simple. I'm going simply to hit shift and space and look for a merge node and I'm going to hit OK. And this is my merge node. Now, in a very simple way, a merge node just merges two nodes together. So you take two 2D nodes and you merge them and one of them become the foreground and the other becomes the background. Very simple. So I'm simply going to delete the connection to my fusion clip here. Okay. And then I'm going to right click on the output from this node here. Just right click uh, to the merge node. And uh, I'm, I just held the connection now using the right click. And once I release my right click, I can choose if this is a foreground or a background. I know this is my image, so it should be the background. So this is my background connected here and this should be my foreground again I'm going to create the connection with the right mouse button and once I release it I can choose this as a foreground now one of the most confusing things for beginners in fusion is the fact that th there is no output to, to all your nodes. So all your nodes do not have a particular output like result. Now, whatever node you're working in right now, you can consider this the output. So this might be a bit confusing. So let's take a look at it. Now, this is my merge node. I merged these two objects, but I cannot see them on either of my monitors. That's because I have to tell the monitor that I want to look at this particular node right now. So I'm going to drag it here and now I have my background and my foreground. So now I have my 3D element. So this is my composition now. How do I control my 3D text? Of course, if I look at the nodes I have, I have a render 3D. Of course, I cannot control my text to a render 3D because it, all what it does is simply rendering the 3D into a 2D image. So I have to grab my 3D text to the right here and now I see my 3D text. So I'm going to stylize my text a bit. I'm going to click uh, shading and light here. And now in order to see my the properties on the right here for my 3D text, I'm going to have to click on it. So now these are the properties for my 3D text. I'm going to come to shading here. I'm going to uncheck use one material so I can use multiple materials. And I'm just going to change the background into anything I want. So let's make it blue. Okay. And now you can see our text here uh, has this blue shading. Now, if I click on this button, here now I can control the offset or the rotation and notice when I when I change my text it changes here so what's happening now is I'm changing the 3d text properties in the 3d text node which is being affected on the render node which is being merged here so now I have my 3d text let's just reset this okay and now I'm going to move my text to the back here and this is my timeline so I'm going to create the positioning for my text one second I'm just going to position it here great and I'm going to create a keyframe now to create a keyframe I'm just going to come to the offset here this is the number I want to change because I just want to push it to the back I'm going to right click and choose animate and what happens now this just became green and now we have a keyframe at this particular point I'm going to move to this point in time and simply just move my text forward and now I just created the new keyframe here so now I have two keyframes with the text being interpolated between them and you can see how the text is moving right now so let's simply play our footage and you can see how the text looks like it's somehow uh, flying on the screen here I'm also going to apply some uh, rotation here to my text to make it look more like 3d and then let's just take a look at our footage great so now we have this 3d text integrated into our footage here but notice now this is the last note this is the note I'm looking at 
here, which is the last node. Now, this node will not show in DaVinci Resolve. I cannot see this composition in DaVinci Resolve unless I connect the last node into my Fusion clip node here. So now after connecting this, I can simply save my project and hit render. I'm gonna go with final, start render. And now I can simply close Fusion, come back to Resolve, notice. Now the clip we originally had here had a different name. Now it's called Fusion Clip 2. This is the name we gave to the Fusion project. And now if I play, I can simply see my text here. Sometimes you will not be able to see the text directly. You have to right click, go to Fusion Connect and hit Refresh. And now we have 3D text inside DaVinci Resolve. Of course, this Fusion clip is treated just like any film now. I can go to color grading, I can uh, grade it, I can do anything I want to this clip because it's just treated like normal footage now. And this is our 3D text. As you can see, the Fusion connection to Resolve is... I, I really don't have words to explain how important it is for filmmakers. Unbelievably important, because it just takes Resolve from being, of course, the best color grading environment and a very powerful NLE. Now we have also compositing inside and it's all for free. Okay, I do understand that there is a paid version that has some advanced uh, options, uh, but still what you can do for free, you can work on 4K footage, you can export 4K footage, it's unbelievable. So you can head to Blackmagic Design, download Fusion and start using it today. And if you like this uh, and you're interested in Fusion, uh, you can find the link here to the course with a limited time discount. Thank you, and please visit us again at LearnColorGradingAndFilmSimplified.com.